Hello and welcome to the Matt Leeser's Best 10 Things of 2014, hosted by me, Matt Lees. At number 10, watching my mum play Monument Valley for the first time and going, ooh, yeah, made me very, very happy. Number nine. That bit in Wolfenstein, where the lady uh, who's a Nazi does the Nazi lady stuff and shows you the photographs and it made me jump, made me physically jump. When was the last time a cutscene thing in a game made you physically jump out of your chair? Wolfenstein. It's probably brilliant. I actually forgot to finish it. I should do that. Number eight is an easy one. Bravely Default. Bravely Default. After all these years, it turned out that I hadn't stopped loving JRPGs. They just... They were all just a bit shit. Number seven, Dark Souls 2. Didn't, like, it wasn't that good. It was all right, it wasn't that good. But being a rat king, murdering people for the rat king, rat king, rat king, rat king, that's what video games are about. They shouldn't be, but that's, that is what they're about. Number six, playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfight Affair, and then, not the game, the game itself was all right, quite fun bad campaign, but no, since then I can't watch a film or television program that contains Kevin Spacey without my brain being convinced that Kevin Spacey is actually CGI. Technology's amazing. Number five. It's Destiny! Yeah, not the actual game, although I do love it. I know it's a bit bad, but I love it. Spending half an hour just jumping up and down on the fan in the tower after doing Vault of Glass. We didn't even finish the Vault of Glass that time. We failed. But we spent half an hour just jumping up and down on the fan. Better days. Jumpers for goalposts. Lemonade. Biscuits. Happy days. Also a special notice, just hand cannons. Just the word hand cannon. Hand cannon. Hand cannon. Number four. Killing a woman. Oh god, sorry. Am I recording? Killing a woman in King of Dragon Pass. Sorry. I know it's dark, but there was this bit where it's like, oh, this, this woman's all cursed and stuff, and we've got to get rid of her. And I was like, well, no, let's not get rid of her. Let's try and save her. So we did all this magic and stuff, and then she was fine. But then, like, a few months later, it's like, oh, she's gone evil again. And we were like, oh, okay, we'll do the magic again. And then we did the magic again, and then she went evil again. And eventually, it's just like, honestly, Oh, like just take her outside and just kill her. And uh, that made me feel terrible. But man, what a game. I, I murdered an old woman. I murdered a child at one point as well. That's a great game. It's a great game. Can you not call, don't call the police. Number three, going to the North Pole in 80 days. 80 days is a text adventure on your iPad phone. And I don't know if it's on Android. It's great. You just go around the world with Phileas Fogg and you're a man with a mustache. What more could you want? But you won't go to the North Pole. And it gets incredibly emotional. Just do it. Brrr, gives me chills just thinking about it. And not because it's cold. I know the difference between cold and emotions, all right? Number two, desert golf. You've not lived until you've been sat on a train playing desert golf simply as a mechanism to try and stop yourself from fixating on the fact that you are 99% sure that you are going to shit yourself. That's right, That's that was probably one of my most salient memories of 2014 in the gaming realm was the sensation that I was going to evacuate my own uh, colon or, or guts on a train. Through all the fear and the genuine worry and social anxiety, I managed to get five, five hole-in-ones on Desert Golf. And as I got home and rushed down, and sat on the toilet, I miraculously managed to make it all the way home without shitting myself, which I'm very proud of. But as I was sitting on the toilet, I kind of realised to myself that, uh, yeah, there was no real way of proving to anyone that I did actually get five hole-in-ones on Desert Gulf. In the same way that there's no way of actually proving to anyone that I didn't actually shit myself on the way home. I can't prove to you that I did make it home. So uh, I thought there was an interesting parallel there. I kind of became fixated on the fact that, you know, it's about what matters to me inside. I know, I know that I got five hole-in-ones on Desert Gulf, just in the same way that I know that I managed to get home without shitting myself. And I'm proud of that. And it makes you think, yeah, what's that got to do with games? Not a lot really, has it? No. But it does make you think that, you know, life is like a box of chocolates. 
and that you never know when you're unexpectedly going to have to deal with shit. Number one, Zuma, Zuma. Uh, this classic frog-based puzzler is a game that I haven't played in years, uh, so I don't know why it's on. It's, yeah, I haven't. Number, Zuma. Uh, it's. Number. Ah! 